So this one's of old yeast. Um, I think it's worth just pulling a few things out because um, it's involved in fermentation. I think this is uh, something that is worth probably going through in a little bit of detail. So yeast is uh, a fungus. So it's one of the, the large groups of um, organisms, animals, bacteria, plants, fungi and, and protists. You don't come across protists very much. Um, here's a, a typical kind of yeast cell. It has a nucleus, it has um, mitochondria, just like animal and plant cells. It has cytoplasm, just like animal and plant cells. Remember, cytoplasm is where proteins are made, all the stuff with uh, messenger RNA and all that kind of gubbins we've been talking about before. They've got cytoplasm in exactly the same way. Key thing here, people forget, or people mix up, yeast cells have a cell wall. Okay, it's not made of the same stuff as a plant cell wall, which is cellulose, um, but they do have um, th this nice cell wall. In terms of size, they're about twice the size of um, a bacterial cell, maybe four to five micrometers kind of length. Um, to give you a comparison, an animal cell is maybe 20 to 30 micrometers uh, in size, so it may be five or six times smaller than animal cell. Uh, bacteria typically maybe only one or two micrometers, much smaller. So do remember, fungi have got a cell wall. The reason they're interesting to us is because of their anaerobic respiration. This is respiration without oxygen. Um, the enzymes that are needed for anaerobic respiration um, are in the cytoplasm of the cell. Should have labeled my mitochondria there, should I? There's a mitochondrion. Um, so this would occur in the um, cytoplasm of the cell. The formula for it, we use glucose and it is broken down by enzymes or res respired by the enzymes to give us ethanol, alcohol, and carbon dioxide, CO2. Apart from things like um, obviously making uh, alcoholic drinks, this is fermentation by the way, this is referred to, it is anaerobic respiration but this specific case is called fermentation. Um, ethanol can be used as a fuel, sometimes it's referred to as biofuel, a um, lot of energy in ethanol, it can be burned and a lot of people thought that this was potentially a way we could um, solve a lot of the fuel problems rather than having to burn petrol we could simply grow plants um, things like sugar cane we could then get the sugar from it um, get the glucose from it use yeast to respire it down to ethanol and this could be used as a fuel in cars the problem is it does take a huge amount of space up the crops the, the space to grow all this stuff it takes a large amount of space um, and yes although when you're growing the crop it's absorbing carbon dioxide being a plant so uh, it, it offsets some of this carbon dioxide that's given out. It's perhaps not um, perhaps not as useful as we thought it was going to first be. It's not as popular in, in some places. For example, in Brazil, I think it's pretty popular where they've got a lot of room to grow these crops. Not really taken off in other places. So biofuel potentially in some places could be great, but it, it's not the... Um, not perhaps the, the solution that a lot of people thought it was originally going to be. 